All right, let's get right into it because the entire global AI race just got completely turned on its head. If you thought you had a handle on where all this was going, well, think again. And I'm not exaggerating. In the span of just one week, China unleashed a level of AI firepower that put the entire world on notice. And we're not talking about one new AI model. Nope, they dropped two. Two massive, potentially game-changing models almost at the exact same time. And get this, both of them are rumored to have over one trillion parameters. Yeah, you heard that right, a trillion. That's a scale that puts them squarely in the same heavyweight class as OpenAI's GPT-4. Now what's so wild about this is it completely flies in the face of the recent trend. For the last year, everyone was focused on making models smaller, faster, more efficient. The whole industry was zigging, and China just zagged hard. They're making a huge bet that raw, brute force scale is still king. So first up in the ring, let's meet the heavyweight challenger from Alibaba. It's called Quinn 3 Fee Max. The team behind it has been on an absolute tear this year. And this new preview model, well, it's a beast. Real quick, just so we're all on the same page, what are parameters? You can think of them like the neurons in an AI's brain. They're the little knobs and dials that guide its thinking. Simply put, more parameters usually means a more powerful model. And a trillion of them, that's an astronomical amount of brain power. And look, this isn't just about flexing with a big number. This thing performs. When you put it head to head with the current champions, like Claude Opus and DeepSeek on some of the toughest tests out there, Quan3 Max is consistently coming out on top. That is a massive statement. The specs are just as nuts. Testers are saying it's ridiculously fast. It's got a huge context window, that's its memory basically, so you can feed it massive documents or entire code bases. And this isn't some lab experiment, it's already being rolled out and is even the default AI and Hugging Face's popular coding tool, AnyCoder. So what can you actually do with all that power? Well, one developer showed how it could generate an entire, complex, beautiful pixel art garden from a single sentence. That's the kind of creative leap that most other models just can't even attempt. It's a real glimpse of what this scale unlocks. But here it is, the big catch. You knew there had to be one, right? Unlike a lot of their previous models, this one is not open source. If you want this power, you're gonna have to pay for it through their API. And the way they've priced it is pretty clever. It's tiered. So for small, simple tasks, it's actually pretty affordable. But the second you wanna use that giant context window for the heavy duty stuff, the price jumps big time. It's a classic enterprise strategy. The more you use, the more you pay. Now, Quen is only half the story. Because while Alibaba was grabbing all the headlines, another Chinese company was making a very different play. Let's talk about the ideological contender, Kimi, from a startup called Moonshot AI. And this is where it gets fascinating, because you're seeing two totally different philosophies collide. You've got the tech giant, Alibaba, going with a closed proprietary model. And then you've got Moonshot AI, a startup that's all in on open source. It's like we're watching two competing visions for the future of AI play out in real time. And please do not let that startup label fool you. Moonshot AI was only founded in March of 2023, and it's already valued at over $3.3 billion. And guess who their investors are? Giants like Alibaba and Tencent. So yeah, they're a very, very serious player. Their latest Kimi model has some serious upgrades. They've doubled its context window to match Quen, they've massively beefed up its coding abilities, and they claim it hallucinates or makes stuff up a little less. Now it's still missing some advanced reasoning and vision features, but man, it is catching up fast. And this quote from their founder really tells you everything about their ambition. He's basically saying that even these huge context windows aren't nearly enough. He's aiming for millions of tokens. It's a clear signal that this huge push for scale is really just getting started. Okay, so let's zoom out. Why do these two models released in the same week matter so much? Because this isn't just another product launch. It's a signal of a massive shift for the entire industry. This is so much more than an incremental update. It is a loud and clear declaration that the era of scaling, of just pushing for more compute, more data, more parameters, it's not over. In fact, it might just be kicking back into high gear. For businesses and developers, this all boils down to three huge implications. One, the race to scale is back on. Two, this creates incredible new benefits and opportunities for enterprise users. And three, it also introduces some pretty serious new risks. So let's talk about the good stuff. The upside for businesses is obvious. You can now process entire code bases or huge legal files in one shot, which cuts down on a ton of complicated engineering. Plus, they're designed with APIs that developers already know. 
making them way easier to integrate into existing workflows. But of course, there's a flip side. These are preview models, which means stability and reliability are big question marks. That tiered pricing? It can get incredibly expensive if you're doing heavy-duty work. And maybe the biggest question of all? Are you really comfortable sending your company's most sensitive proprietary data through a third-party API? That's a huge security gamble. So, where does all of this leave us? In the context of the global AI race, what on earth happens next? And here's the thought to keep you up at night. Both of these companies have made it very clear that these are just the previews. They've all but promised that the final production-ready releases will be even stronger. What we're seeing right now is just the opening move. Which brings us to the final, unavoidable question. For a long time, the US has been seen as the undisputed leader in cutting-edge AI. But with this aggressive, large-scale, well-funded push from China, you have to wonder, are we witnessing the beginning of a genuine challenge for that top spot? That is the trillion parameter question on everyone's mind.